A park ranger takes us out along the eight-mile stretch of beach at Kevin Sheedan. And before long, the telltale signs of history begin to emerge. Three new sets of bony ribs lay exposed. It's thought they could be trading vessels dating from the 18th or 19th century. The one near us now is at least 120 foot. The furthest one could be 100 foot, mainly timber held, but we do have some metal held uh, ships that were underground as well. You can just make out the bow tip or the top of the third ship that's been recently exposed. But we're told that in total there's 182 shipwrecks along this stretch of beach. And in this case, it wasn't steep cliffs or sharp hidden rocks that did for the sailors along this part of the coast. Emir Richard says that without local knowledge, trading vessels could easily become stranded and flounder on this beach. It's mainly because of the shallow sands and the shifting sands. You know, even after one tide, the sands can shift. So if the sands are shifting, the sandbars are shifting. So you can imagine a ship trying to navigate its way up the up this Loch Restory to take coal in from Burryport or Pembrey or to take tin from Llanelli. You know, it can be very difficult, especially without the correct charts, without the sort of radar that's available these days. Scientists will now try and date these vessels from their timber before the shifting sea and sand claim them once again.